This is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. Conspiracy theorists believe that Katy Perry is really John Bonet Ramsey. <laughs> really? Come on. This has to be the funniest thing I have heard all week. Forget the fact that Katy was born in 1984 and Joan Bonet in 1990. These people actually believe that Joan Bonet's murder was a hoax and that the little girl grew up to be Katy. Among the evidence is that both of them have similar eyebrows. Apparently, they've never heard of waxing or plucking. Sure, the young Joan Bonet looks similar to the grown-up Katy, but why a 12-year murder investigation to clear her parents and brother? They believe it was all just to make Katie a star someday. Another funny story is Gordon Ramsay spitting out a Girl Scout cookie. Really? Jimmy Kimmel gave the renowned chef an assortment of Girl Scout cookies. He tried a Tagalong, a Samoa, and a Thin Mint, telling Kimmel they looked like dog biscuits. After the Thin Mint, he spit it out, made a face, then said it was like a cheap after-eight dinner mint. Seriously? I could eat a box of Thin Mints in one sitting. I swear I never have, but I have been known to eat a whole slave of them. To a more serious story, former supermodel Cheryl Teagues was very wrong in her comments about Ashley Graham. Ashley is the plus-size model appearing on one of the covers for the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Cheryl said Ashley's body wasn't healthy going by Dr. Oz's theory that women with a waist larger than 35 inches isn't healthy. Really? In the first place, body shaming another woman is terrible. But she was also wrong. Ashley's waist measures 30 inches. So not only is she a beautiful woman, she's also very much healthy by Dr. Oz's standard. And lastly, I have to give a shout out to American Idol's farewell season. Original Idol Kelly Clarkson guest judged the show last night and also sang a very personal, emotional song. She broke down in tears in the middle of the song. Really? The song, Piece by Piece, is obviously written about her father, who abandoned her until she was a star, comparing him to her husband, who is much more supportive of her and their little girl. It was heartbreaking and also made me realize why I fell in love with this show. It was her. This just cannot be the last season. I beg of you, Fox.